You're a prisoner being held in a cell, forced to watch an MP4 of a nuclear explosion. And name Finger, if that's your real name. Congratulations on passing the Ohio State Bar. Only then to be interrupted by a prison break, which creates a distraction, giving you an opportunity to escape from the facility. All units were under attack by unknown elements. Execute Operation Bright Star immediately. I hate when games start with a walking simulator stealth section. However, here it feels fitting. Then we are introduced to your first ability, which is going invisible. The only way you can sneak past the security guards looking for you. After sneaking past a few corridors, you find a weapon and fight off the hordes of enemies chasing us. And they are unforgiving, stopping at nothing just to kill you. Whoever captured you here doesn't want you leaving. The guns feel incredible to handle, despite the fact that you can't ADS. With pistols being the most consistent weapon. They're precise and output decent damage, which makes them really good at far to mid-range encounters. There's also SMGs, which feel like automatic pistols, which would be great, but they lack precision, making them feel inconsistent, and the recoil is so high, making the weapon difficult to use for the unacquainted. You will find yourself burst firing to get any value out of them. There's also rifles, which have the same problem as SMGs, but output far more damage, making them more viable. With the only drawback is how scarce their ammo can be sometimes, and keep in mind that you can only hold on to two weapons at once, so running out of ammo can place you in bad situations. By far the best weapon is the shotgun, with incredible damage and forgiving spread making it the best mid-range gun by far. It also has a stun effect that is effective at mid-range as well. There are abilities that you can use to your advantage. These are slowing down time and going invisible. Although the latter feels out of place, as stealth gets old pretty quickly, it feels like an afterthought in some of the more open arenas. At higher difficulties, the AI will instantly spot you, making it impossible to sneak by. Overall, I think this is a great game and is worth a shot. And it is even free. What do I owe you? Nothing. It's for free.